Hey guys, we're going to do a quick shop update with the stuff we've been doing. This is an old famous piston yep. that has a fancy little hole in it. It's for good compression. <laughs> well, yeah. no, it's not supposed to have a hole in it. So what we're doing is turning the piston, getting it nice and true. We're going to take this piece of cast, cutting a little top in it, we're going to go ahead and weld it in. So, and then drew it back for its face where it looks like we didn't do anything to it. And then we'll give it back to the guy that actually owns the motor that this thing goes in. But the motor's worth several thousand dollars, so. Well, it's uh, a famous, so. Yeah, and so, <laughs> or it's, and I don't know that it is a famous, but it's made by famous or it's identical to a famous or something, but well, anyway. Our International Harvester makes famous. Um, yeah, but to find one of these pistons might be difficult, and he just wanted to show, so if we can, he beat the hole in the top of the piston because it was frozen in the block and he beat on it and got the piston out but in the process busted a hole in it so we turned the the hole that he busted jagged we turned it smooth and then we made a lip on it so that we can actually weld a piece in and hopefully repair his cast iron piston yeah so we've had this project probably for the last four months and we started deciding to work on it right when we need the rotary table to work on that thing so now I guess it gives an incentive to finish it yeah, before we get the other one going. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're making our lip. Uh, so whatever you had, I need to subtract. Uh, 3.542. No, three, yeah, but subtract 3.261. So a little bit more than the diameter of the cutter. Are you gonna make just, are we just gonna only go over the cutter width or are we gonna go over that extra like 31 thousandths? What's, how much is it? 0.281. Instead of 2.5? Uh, I'll probably go close to 2.81. Uh, well, means, but no, I'll cut, I'll do it. I, but, I would and either- turn, And then turn that hole out to fit? E yeah, either do that or move this cutter up to a um, 3 8 cutter. And no. Because I don't... You don't have a carbide for that? Yeah, or? no, I don't. I've got that and I've got a half inch. It's the only two carbides I've got. Well, that stinks. Yeah, because if it's I, expensive. Well, because if you had the um, 3 8 cutter, then you could still go to the point two eight and be fine. But... Yeah, better than Yeah, I would just go over the 2.5 and then turn back a bit. We're back, he parted off the pool that we were, or the little cap that we were making, and it fits right down in the top of the piston, like we were hoping. Carefully. Tight. Almost there, there you go. So now, all we gotta do is throw it in the oven, heat the cast iron up before we weld it. Weld it, then throw it back in the oven and slowly step down the temperature so we don't crack it or have any other bad stuff happen to this thing. Because, geez, this thing's seen better days. <laughs> Marring and all that right there. When the piston was beat out of the block, of course, he mangled the top of the piston pretty good, you can see. But he also beat on the other end to beat it back and forth. And so I had to turn the bottom of the piston down because it had become a mushroom on the bottom. So it is back. All of it's the same. It does fit in the bore. Um, so now if we can weld the top up, you'll have a piston back in the oven. Yep. All right, so when you are uh, cooking your cast iron, make sure you preheat it to 350 <laughs> degrees and let it bake for, <laughs> what, uh, probably about an hour? Hour, yeah, I'm gonna put it in a pan. If I don't put it in a pan, put it in wife, a pot. my wife gets kind of mad at me. Um, so we keep the junk. A jump pan that's been used for that before. You don't want to have a, a sudden temperature change because that's a good way to crack cast iron. So we're going to let it bake for about an hour, start working on my monster mower out there, and we'll catch back up with that project here in a second. All right, guys, so we're about ready to pull the cast iron piston out of the oven, and then we're going to go ahead and try and weld that top we made earlier into it. Now, with welding cast iron, you use a special type of rod. They're kind of expensive, but they're worth their weight in gold. 
They're a 95% uh, nickel rod. These rods are designed specifically for welding cast iron and they're pretty much not good for anything else. Uh, cast iron's a uh, pretty tricky metal to weld because if you get it too hot in one spot, it tends to crack. If you let it cool down too fast, it tends to crack. If you're not good at welding it, it tends to crack. So we're gonna try and successfully weld it. We've done it in the past, so it's not too much of a worry. When it's um, exposed to sudden heat, that's when it's cracked. So that's why we decided to bake it earlier. It's sitting here chilling in the oven at about 350 degrees. It's been baking for about an hour now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out, get it set up. And I'm gonna try and figure out how to set the camera up behind a lens so we can watch it actually being welded. We are welding using an ancient of all ancient welders. This thing's probably 60 years old. It's an old Marquette 180 special arc welder. And it's an AC buzz box. We're setting it up to weld at 110 amps. See if I can get out of here without burning myself. I think burning yourself is half the fun. No. Warm, warm. All right, so now we have our freshly heated up piston and it's about time to start welding. We'll go ahead and flip the welder on. I'm gonna tack it in four places and then I'm gonna go back and weld it and then I'm gonna try to flip it and get some underneath as well. All right, here we go. Alrighty, so we just got done welding it. Now we're going to go ahead and throw it back in the oven to let it cool down slowly over the next couple hours to try and prevent it from cracking. But we got it welded up. Um, it welded a little wonky, but it's not too bad. It'll do exactly what we need it to do. So. You'll never see it inside the engine and it'll keep the compression and not have a hole. That's what we're at. I think we should put the GoPro in the oven with it just to double check. No. Have a camera feed. All right. Well, that's all we have for this video. Um, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to give me a thumbs up for the video, do that too. We got to get back to work on a monster mower and, well, got to get back to work on a monster mower. And making a clutch. Yep. All right. Well, that's all we got. See you.